All right, at this point, you should be able to solve one true side. Uh, true side, again, is where you have four of the same, well, same colors, and the adjacent sides are the same color. This was taught in the first video. So the key to solving the rest of the cube is doing two different sets of algorithms known as move number, move number one and move number two. So I'm going to teach you move number one. And how move number one works is this. When you do it, whatever side that you have, make sure that the point of reference for the side is always facing up. And I put this piece of blue tape here just to show you that you'll never stop looking at this corner. So this corner should, should always be facing you. I have the hiccups right now, so <laughs> excuse me. Um, so how move number one works is this. You start off always on the right side. So you have your si <clears throat> the side that you completed facing up. Um, so this is how you do it. Down, right, up, <laughs> right. And then clockwise, like a doorknob, left, <clears throat> counterclockwise. That's move number one. So let's try it again. Down, right, up, right, clockwise, left, <clears throat> counterclockwise. One last time. Wow, I just solved it. Um, <laughs> down, right, <clears throat> up, right, clockwise, left counterclockwise keep practicing this until you don't have to look look at the video anymore this is um 80 of solving this is using move number one over and over again all right the other 20 percent is using move number two so move number two starts off the same way as move number one the first oh, three moves down right up so it looks like this down right up and then Counterclockwise, forward, clockwise, back. That's move number two. One more time. <clears throat> Down, right, up, counterclockwise, up, clockwise, da oh! down. Jeez. <laughs> One last time. Again, the hiccups. Down, right, up, counterclockwise, up, oh! up clockwise down practice move number two over and over again until you don't have to do uh, look at the video any, anymore and then practice one and two move one moves one and two and then once you have them down um, then you're re ready for the next part after you feel comfortable with doing moves one and two um, the next thing you're going to do is this. So if this is, if this is my first side yellow, you want to be able to identify what the opposite side color is supposed to be. So opposite of yellow is white. Opposite of green is blue. And, oh, and opposite of red is orange. Okay. So, um, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to Go ahead and try to complete the bottom side and make the bottom a true side. And so how this works is this. You have your original side facing up. You have your side that's facing you. And you have to look for the color on the bottom that's in the lower right-hand corner. So there's no white here, right? Because white goes on the bottom. There's no white square there. There's one right here. So I'm ready to do either move one or two at this point. When I look down, before you do it, look down. And if it looks like this, where you have two squares next to each other on the left side, two white squares, and then on the right side, you have this white square here. This is the only situation where you do move number two. This is the only time you do move number two. Every other time you do move number one. So again, you want to have a white square on the lower right hand corner. And then you look down and decide whether you're going to do one or two. This is the only situation for move two. So let's do move two. Down, right, up, counterclockwise, forward, up, clockwise, down. Okay, and then you do the same thing. Um, look for a lower right-hand corner square. That's the color that's supposed to be on the bottom. In this case, it's white. It's not white, not white. Here it is, it's white. So look on the bottom. Because these two squares are not white, I'm gonna be doing move number one. So here we go, 
down, right, up, right, clockwise, left, counterclockwise. And then same thing. Look for move number one. Okay, is there, where's the white square? Ooh, this one, this side we solved. Where's the white square? Where's the white square? Ah, there are no white squares because all the white squares are um, on the bottom. So in this case, if all the white squares are on the bottom, what you have to do is see if you have that third side. And in this case, I do. I have my original side, I have the bottom, and then I have my third side. So because there's no white square to go after, you're going to do move number one against the third side. If the third side does not exist, like let's say that all the sides kind of look like this and you don't have a third side and all the white squares are on the bottom, just do move number one anywhere. But because we have this, we're going to do move number one. Down, right, up, right, clockwise, left, counterclockwise. In the same situation, look for the square in the lower right-hand corner. There it is, right here. Right, and this is going to be move number two. So I go ahead and do move number two. Down, right, up, counterclockwise, up, clockwise, down. And then I keep going, look for the square, lower right hand corner, there it is. Move one, down, right, up, right, counterclockwise, I'm sorry, clockwise, left, and up. And then once it looks like this, you're one move away from solving it. There you go.